Main man, made man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. So word on the curb, we see uh, Tyson Fury has came out over social media and stating that the, the fight is still on. You know, he's going to start camp on September 1st. Uh, I seen Deontay Wilder issue out some statements also that basically indicates that the fight is still ongoing at this point. Now, if you are one of the people that, you know, came out and was like, you know, oh, man, this fight ain't been, and you were a little skeptical or whatever like that. Trust and believe, man. Don't be going to a lot of these uh, I told you so videos and all that. You were right. And you still are right if you remain skeptical. This is boxing. What the hell? You're supposed to just take everybody's word for everything. You know what I mean? Actions speak louder than words in this game. That's how we all feel. Now, this is all good news for me. As I stated in my video, um, you know, uh, this is good. I, I, my, we are all hoping for the fight. We just don't want to be duped at the end of the day. Now, also, if I go back to my video, I never once um, mentioned anything about Eddie Hearn and I never mentioned anything about Dan Rayfield. I just they, those are not the indications that I'm going off. I don't know what everybody else is using, but uh, those are just not the indications that I'm going off. And I actually made that vid before even the Dan Rayfield uh, little thing came out or whatever but my 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 thing i'm judging this all for one is the body language of the fighters and the actions that's been going on we were told that we were going to hear a deal supposed to be announced sometime this week nothing ain't gotten announced also if you go back to the post fight interviews of the fighters right after tyson fury beat pianetta i remember when the announcer dude asked wilder like you know what's up when the date and venue and Wilder just looked at Fury, and Fury just looked at Wilder, and uh, that's when Fury had to step in and do one of his things to kind of get the crowd involved, you know what I'm saying? It just looked like nobody had an answer, and so that's why I tell people right now, man, if you skeptical, you ain't wrong. Trust and believe, you ain't wrong. With the details surrounding this fight, knowing that we have a lineal heavyweight champion who ain't in the tip-top condition, um, and a lot of people feel as though he ain't ready for a fight of this caliber, a lot of people feel that way, but not the fighter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you have a right to be skeptical and you ain't wrong for being skeptical in this particular situation, especially after being dicked around for the past year between Wilder and Project AJ. So trust and believe boxing fans. Do not let nobody come on here and make you feel like you were wrong for wondering what the hell is going on, especially when you you have reputable sources uh, coming out and repeating and regurgitating that stuff. So I still remain skeptical until I hear Dayton venue. That's just me. You know what I mean? I'm not asking nobody else to do it because I'm that way. But that's just how I am. I got to hear the date. I got to hear the venue. I got to see uh, I got to see Tyson Fury up at Big Bear at that high altitude training that he said he wanted to do. We got to see all of this stuff coming to fruition. Now, according to Tyson Fury, he'll return, uh, resume training September 1st. Today's date is August the 26th. So we will be seeing if Tyson Fury will be reporting to training in a few days. Let us hope so, ladies and gentlemen, that let us hope so. That's why I'm glad in my last video it was issued as a warning that the fans will be very, very highly pissed off, highly pissed off if y'all, if we feel like we're being scammed for fighters to be building their profiles. I stand by everything I say in my video. Um, that's a, that's just how boxing is, Joe. These fighters are all behind the scenes. These promoters and managers behind the scenes are all formulating ways to make profits at the end of the day, raising each other's profiles. They play games like this. So you have a right as a... Uh, paying customer fan to be skeptical of what the hell is going on so that's all good i'm glad that the gypsy king came out and assured his fans that the thing is still on i'm glad man this is all good this is all good signs but i'm still once again still skeptical listening for a deal hoping for hoping for a deal and once we get that deal we can then move forward but uh, yeah, man, so, you know, we're going to have a bunch of, oh, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, man, when you tell what, Dan Rayfield, you know, a lot of people are out here discrediting him today, and I ain't saying that he is the best boxing media, but he is like the, he's connected with ESPN, so whenever the dude say something, a lot of people going to take it as like, yo, that's ESPN saying it, you know what I mean, so, and we all know the reputation of ESPN in the sports world, you ain't wrong, you know what I mean, and that's just how I feel about the whole situation, so let's see, let's sit back, wait and see, man, Let's hope. Let's hope everything falls in place and so we can get this fight and then we can continue to move on and talking about this fight in the proper manner. But uh, dates ain't being met. We've been told one thing and we're seeing another and we are right to remain skeptical until we see date, venue, signed contracts, press conferences ready to go.
Until the next video, main man, main man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, main man 511, Facebook, main man, main man, boxing form, Google Plus, main man, main man. People trying to make this an Eddie Hearn thing. No one cares about what Eddie Hearn is talking about in this situation. Is he going to throw shade on this? Of course he is. But uh, just because Eddie Hearn said that ain't what people are doing. People are judging about how the fighters and how this thing is being put together, the the, the, the timing of this thing, um, what we saw in that post fight interview after uh, after Fury beat Penn. And that the, we going by those things So those are the things you go by Forget what Eddie Hearn Eddie Hearn ain't even in part of this equation Go by what you see To the next video Peace out